Hello everybody, it's Howard English Rec 50 here and welcome to a new series here on my channel that I'm going to be starting up called What's at Ninja Kiwi? Coincidentally acronymed WANK. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I, I can't believe that squeaked right there, but ignoring that, I'm really tempted to start off all future episodes of this with, ah, uh, hello everybody, Re ready for another WANK? <laughs> Kids don't ever tell that to your parents. Ever. So anyways, what the heck is going to be in this series? Well, as you can see, we have Battle Panic here, a different game than we're used to seeing. It's not uh, Balloon Steed 5, Monkey City, or Battles, but a different Ninja Kiwi game. So what this series is going to consist of is me venturing out to different corners of Ninja Kiwi, you know, to play some of their different games that they have. Each episode will be featuring two games that you may or may not have seen before. This one's actually pretty well known. It's on the front page and all that, but some of you haven't ventured out about, about to it yet. All these links are in the description and all that, like, if you want to play it. But yeah, since uh, Battles is kind of crummy right now, Balloons Monkey City isn't out yet, uh... Yeah, kind of need something to pass the time, so I'm hoping, you know, like, one of these could, I don't, I don't know, be interesting to, to you guys. So anyways, what is Battle Panic? Some you might be wondering, this is kind of an older game by Ninja Kiwi. Not super old, actually, it's relatively recent compared to how long the company's been around, what, six years or so, I'm not quite sure. But this is actually a really, really cool game. I'm gonna just hop into one of these levels here. I'm gonna go with Sansi. I haven't played this in a while. So, I mean, Battle Panic is basically this kind of... I want to say single-player real-time strategy, where the idea is you have to gather resources and uh, all that crap, uh, g gold and wood, and you have to uh, prepare to defend against bunches of waves of orcs and stuff. And this is pretty cool, considering the only uh, command you have to do with anything is just hover over stuff with your mouse. But I know that might seem lame to some of you guys, but... It, it, this it actually gets pretty cool. I actually think I chose a relatively easy level, so we might not even see too much action. But see these little guys? These are pieces of crap. I mean orcs. And they are just trying to invade your little castle right here. As you've seen so far, I've harvested gold with my mouse, and I've upgraded my castle. Also, you can use your uh, mouse to kind of hover over orcs to destroy them. Holy crap, there's actually a bunch coming in here. So yeah, I can do this, and also I can make units too. So I'm going to build a stables right now. That is one thing I I can build. Uh, I can make horsemen, I can make uh, archers, and I can make footmen. You'll probably be seeing some of all those sooner or later, but for now, I'm just kind of beating stuff up with my uh, cursor just because I want to. I mean, why not? Who doesn't love beating stuff up st st yeah, stuff up with a cursor? Oop, there's a little guy hiding right there. He's hiding behind the trees like a pedophile or something. They're always in the trees. Always. Never go in the trees, ever. Ever. Anyways, here's some more orcs. Uh, in the bottom right, you'll see some kind of... Uh, timer and that's like when the rounds come and for now you know maybe i should show oh by the way here's a bison unfortunately nothing nothing happens if you hover over him but it's still cool scenery stuff and in the bottom left is the health of my castle if that drops to drops to zero you lose and it's this campaign style thing anyways here comes my reinforcements now i'm going to start building a crap ton of uh, horsemen and hopefully we'll be able to destroy literally everything here so here's the units these guys are the, the footmen these guys are the archers and these guys are the horsemen yeah, horsemen. So we just got a variety of different types of units, I suppose. And there we go. I leveled up my castle. Now I'm just going to build a few more of these guys because they're badass. And uh, generally, this is your army. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, yeah, if you hover over them, you get to heal them. Okay, so there's green orcs and there's red orcs, as you can tell by the colors. So there's no blue orcs, there's no yellow orcs, anything like that, just green and red. But the general idea is red is tougher than green. And, uh, surprisingly, even though I haven't played this much lately, I'm doing quite well. My, uh, army is holding off. Generally, you don't want to spend, uh, too much time, uh, I don't know, healing your armies. You really don't need to. Just gather resources, man. Like, come on, gather resources. You have a bunch of time between waves to do stuff. So, I would take advantage of that if, uh, you can. I'm also going to get some other units coming. Oh, actually, that can wait. I'll, uh, destroy some orcs with my, uh, with my cursor. Yeah! So, I mean, actually, I'm surprisingly doing better than I thought. 
not too long ago, uh, I was playing this with my friend Joe just because, uh, yes, that Joe, who you all sent dick pics to, uh, that Joe, and we were just seeing, you know, what this game was about since I haven't played it in a while, and, you know, it's still pretty fun, I'm not too bad at it. Anyways, what you saw there is I just summoned some reinforcements, I get to summon them once every three minutes, so that's actually pretty badass, you get a bunch of reinforcements and stuff, oop, I need more wood. So yeah, you get three buildings, three different types of units, it's nice. We got the little footmen here, they're nice and cheap, they only cost gold, no wood cost at all. Holy crap, there was a bunch of them right here. And surprisingly, with seven waves, these are some interesting red shield, oh shoot, red shield orcs. So there's also going to be some orcs that specialize against other orcs, like uh, shield orcs, um... Well, let's see, uh, horsemen do really well against those, but archers suck against them. I mean, you would think, because shields and stuff, and holy crap, they're destroying my footmen. You can see at the top, like, my unit count, that's actually going down real, really quickly. There was a bunch of orcs, and all these are graves. These are all units that died. Oop, better one. Yay, and I somehow only got two stars. Now nah, I need to get better at this. But at the end, you get this, uh, star count where you get a total score. I believe you need over 9,000 points. Uh, to get three stars, yep, there it is, and it's based on different scores, see, till, kill to death score, that screwed me over, I got terrible kill to death ratio, I just lost a ton of units in the end, that was not good, activity score, you actually have to be doing stuff actively with your mouse to get points, surprisingly, which is actually one of the harder parts, but one of the cooler parts about the game, because you actually have to be active, and then outpost health and outpost level, you gotta level up your, uh, your castle, and you got to, I don't know, and you gotta, and you gotta keep it full health. So yeah, there's that, and I got two stars from it. As you can see, each level has various amounts of stars stuff. I actually beat the game. This is the last level here on Panic Mode, which is the hardest th difficulty. I did beat that. So um, once you get stars, you can go to upgrades here, which you can use to uh, buy various upgrades. There's like a bunch of upgrades you get over time. You, you start off on just normal mode and with no upgrades, so it is still pretty tough. But over time, once you get these upgrades, it becomes a ton more easier. Ton more, and yeah, I spent 35 stars on Deadly Army. Not bad, not bad. So let's go for one more level. I don't know, what do I want? I really want to do Devil's Reach, but we're kind of running low on time. I'm hoping for like 15 minutes for each game. Let's just do Goldville, the next one. So this is kind of a special, uh, special level where you don't win by defeating a certain amount of uh, waves of orcs but instead you win by getting a certain amount of gold so we'll see how that goes so um kinda going on to this series then just let me know what you guys think if you like one or more of the games like in particular because I will be doing two per episode um let me know if you wanna see like a series going you know uh, based off that game because I wouldn't mind I mean you know, we kind of need to see a little bit more variety on here, on this channel, than just Loon's games. I wouldn't mind venturing to other Ninja Kiwi, Kiwi games, because they are pretty cool. And generally, I mean, I know my way around the sites out. I should be able to find, uh, you know, games pretty easily. But if you want to see, like, certain games continue into a series, that's what you you let me know. Uh, you know, that that is what I could do, and, you know, it could be pretty fun. I mean, you never know, you never know. Battle Panic is pretty awesome. I might do a series with, like, a couple of the harder levels, and also free play. I haven't seen too many free play videos on YouTube. There's a few here or there, but, I mean, I feel there could be more. That's why. Oh, shoot, how did I miss this? This is a Mega Mine. And, holy poop, this is a bunch of uh, shield orcs and crap. I think I should be fine with my cursor. No, I won't. I'm not going to be fine with just my cursor. I need horses. I need horses ASAP right now. Just get a few of these guys out. Maybe even just four or so. Actually, no, I'll just start pumping them right now. Because, look, here comes uh, these guys, the reinforcements. And horsemen really rock against the uh, shield orcs. And, holy crap, the health of my castle is dropping massively. I hope I don't die. That would suck. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, but I'm gonna go for this mega mine. I, I totally missed that. I was not paying attention at all. But uh, the the mines uh, with the uh, uber gold just get you uh, gold so much quicker, and uh, the other ones get you um, uh, get gold at a slower rate. Oh, but this is a depleted mine. Try not to mine those because those. Uh, creates gold very slowly so here's the spear orcs spear orcs are actually good against the uh horsemen so watch out for those who want to protect your horsemen if you see those coming i'm just destroying them with my uh cursor as you um as you level up your castle your uh, cursor abilities increase you're able to uh get more uh 
gold quicker like see it's going up by 25 before it only went up by 10 and also your uh, cursor does a lot more damage so what I'm, gonna, what I'm doing right now is just pumping out a ton of horsemen and look when you level up you get uh, specialized horsemen or they look better because they have more health and can do more damage and that's what happened when you, happens when you get a certain amount of units I suppose but um, what I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to harvest some money. I know I win when I get 7,000, but I also want to get the other objectives too. I already have three stars on this level, but I wouldn't mind getting it again for you guys. Uh, just because three stars is, is uh, good, and that entails getting a crap ton of units out. And also it entails not losing too many units in battle, so I'm actually going to uh, protect them, try to heal them too if I can. Uh, heal day, lose day? I don't even think I lost any. Which is good. So I'm going to pump out a few more horsemen until I'm out of wood. Then I'm going to harvest gold. And that will probably be the end of the level. So yeah, these are some of the medium difficulties. The last four levels are actually insanely hard. Oh, look at these guys though. These are bone crushers. These kick ass against footmen. So you really do not want to uh, have uh, footmen unguarded against those. Because those can really wreck. Also, I brought that guy back to life. Yes, I am Jesus. I can resurrect. Not really, but I resurrected that horseman, I mean, that that must mean something. And we're just waiting for the wave. It's going to end pretty soon. As you can see, I'm at 4,000 gold right now. Once we're at 7,000, I'll probably close this one out, then we'll head to the second game of the night. Um, yeah, probably. And I hope you guys, you know, like this idea of a series overall. Again, hoping for some variety of the channel. It's not going to replace any balloons games or anything like that, so don't get your panties in a knot or anything like that. Mainly the girls are the address of this. I'm pretty sure none of you guys wear panties unless you're cross-dressers Which I'm gonna assume you're not, but let's not go into that. Anyway, so close. We're at 6,500 gold. We're getting really close. Almost there, and hold my D. There we go. Goal complete. We have amassed a war chest of 7,000 gold. Push southward immediately. Why are we going south? I don't know. Ooh, anyways though, we have a uh, 94... 9,402 and 20 score. That's pretty good. A uh, perfect unit score this time. You can have a max of 4,000. That's what it should look like. Activity score, 92% active. That's, that's pretty solid if you ask me. Outpost score, yeah, it didn't have full health, health or whatever, but it was good enough. So we won that there, and I hope you enjoyed Battle Panic. Again, if you want me to make it a series, I can. Just let me know if enough of you want it. That'd be great. But uh, let's head to the second game of this wank. Alright guys, here we are with the, the second game of this uh, wank. And this one would be Monster Town. Something I personally have not played before. Ba Battle Panic, I have played before in the past, so I knew a lot about this game. This, I know nothing about. Apparently it's on the homepage and has like, you know, over a thousand likes or whatever. But ne I never really hear people talking about it. It seems that it's an old game because it doesn't have that Ninja Kiwi bar. I didn't cut it off or anything or anything it's just not there so this is gonna be part playthrough and part me figuring out myself nah poor choice of words whenever i well, yeah it's actually a really bad choice of words whenever whenever i say that it's like i always think of like a dad talking to his son who's of that certain age he's like son look down you have a penis use it so anyways set difficulty I don't know, should we go with normal or should we go with hard? Are we going to be hardcore? Let's be hardcore. Select level, zombie party, let's do this. Let's see if this is any good. I remember reading the preview. I think it said it had it was somewhat similar to Plants vs. Zombies, but I don't know, it seems kind of similar. The monsters are approaching, we must defend our town. Press the depot button. Let's select on which door you want to start to build it. To produce units, we need these shelters. Use the remaining door. Okay, so you have a certain amount of doors. Okay. And then workers. Oh, okay, I see. So there's workers on different jobs, and they run back and forth. <laughs> yeah, they're just running back and forth. They kind of look like burglars or something like that. Now your workers will bring the resources needed to produce units. Okay. Do I click somewhere? Or... Okay, now what? So they're going back and forth. Your first unit is ready. Cl click the shelters and select it. Ah. Ah, now place it on the field. I see. So these guys make the units. Oh, that's cool. I see how it's like Plants for Zombies with the tiles, but this part is actually kind of unique. Place the units on every line of the field before the monsters try to get to your town. So they're trying to defend it like this. This, this actually seems pretty interesting. I don't know. Also, I, I do like pick. Oh damn it! I should have picked one on that line. Never mind. I can get one now. Yay! 
But uh, good news about this is that really this these games do not take up ma much processing power. I'm actually recording on a, a much higher uh, uh, what just quality than I would normally. Um, maybe maybe uh, Battle Panic wasn't too high up, but I feel uh wait did that guy just run away? What a puss! Well, if a unit encounters an, er an enemy before reaching its destination, it will f flee from the stage. Well, thanks. Oh my god, it's a mutt. It's a freaking mutt. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully this could be an HD, or at least this series could. So, I mean, I don't know. I hope you enjoy. Oh boy, this could get close. Okay, no, I think my ass is saved. Please beat this guy up. What does this do? Oh, mission complete. I don't even know what those things did, but somehow I won. Yay, first easy one. Alright, produce units. Seven, lost units zero, defeated monsters seven. You got and middle, medal. You unlocked mercenary, low... Yeah, okay, increased damage against werewolves. Ooh, those mutts. Range medium though, so it's a ranged weapon. Arg wolves, we're still on hard. We can do this, guys. We can do this. So I mean, this seems actually pretty interesting. So let's see. How do I do this again? Frick, do I? Uh, I click. Oh, I click here. Right to the depot. I could have clicked there though. I mean, never know. And then this goes here. So now I just move these over. There we go. I'm starting to pick this up. Maybe this game kind of does seem familiar, I forget. It, it's been forever since I played though, so I, I remember nothing about it. Hey, can I get anything here? No, maybe not. Oh, oh, darn. So I'm guessing the thing I unlocked is uh, something I can place here. Oh, yep. Um, Help. Help my ass. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what was the point of this? Oh... Oh shoot, we have to save them. Oh crap. Um, that's not a smart place to put it. Whatever, whatever. we'll get you here, I guess. So we'll see how this th goes. This is a little zombie. I think this guy's protecting her decently. And they're low on health, so I'm assuming we have to protect them. Heals 20%. Okay, so this is an ability. I can heal it. And this can remove stuff from the field. Okay. So I'm going to get you here now. All right, that I, I see how this works now. All this makes sense in some way. Also, I can. Oh wait, I lost that already. Wow. Okay, so I lost a some a woman already. Wow. Thanks. You guys are defending just fantastically. Um. Well, shoot. I gotta be careful. These guys actually don't do as much damage as I hoped. I'm gonna heal her a bit more. He's, he's eating her. No, he's eating her. Oh my God, he's low on health. Whoop. Oh shoot. Uh, whoops, okay, so I've... Ah, poop. I was not paying attention at all. I think it's just lost here. I gotta get better at this game. Take two. We're gonna redo this level, and I'm actually gonna do it right. I could have been paying a ton more attention to that. Let's try this again. I mean, we have time. This is a pretty fast-paced game, so it's kind of worth it. So anyways, back to quality that I was kind of talking about before. I don't know. I never really cared about too much about quality i always picked frame rates over quality i mean and if i have the chance to do something high quality i will but the only reason that bells and Bloons monkey city videos are in bad quality is because my computer is bad so anyways i'm gonna go for less of these guys just because they suck against the regular zombies oh you oh hotkeys duh okay there's also hotkeys so let's see so i'm gonna put a guy here and he'll be directly protecting her so okay so she is low on health man and also, so is she. So let's do this. I'm going to heal you. I have souls or something like that. Oh, shoot. So he's coming down this path. Uh, I should probably get you eventually. And I'm going to try to get a guy on every single path. And hopefully that can keep me safe. I have three hearts. Oh, so. Oh, man. I thought I had two hearts. Apparently not. And also, I'm guessing each one of these correlates to each one of these doors. So this removes a unit from the field. Okay. Okay. So let's see. What else can I heal? I can heal you, I suppose. And, I mean, I guess I'll just be healing my units. I, I really don't want to retreat. I have no reason to retreat whatever. Treat, retreating is for wusses. And where are no wuss? Okay, I should probably heal you. I should probably get something more. Because this guy, he's going to be, he's gonna be uh, struggling, man. And you, you're low on health. I kind of need you. Mercenary has low HP. Whatever, be sure to defend it with strong... Oh, okay, so it's low on HP. Also, I just healed him barely. I can heal you again. Oh, crap. Um, I should probably... Uh... 
get you or something like that. Just hurry. Don't die on me. That's all I gotta say. Oh, advance. This can advance him forward. Okay, that's nice. So I'll get you. I'll get you here. And I'll just start healing all these guys because a lot of these people have low health. So I gotta spend a ton of uh, resources. Oh, crap. Um, I should be getting you now. Just stall a little bit. Okay, is this guy's range enough? No. Nope. Um, and I'll be healing you. You seem to be low on health as well. I'm trying my best. Just don't die on me, buddy. Don't die. And there we go. Okay, so she ran away because she's a big wuss, I suppose. And I'm trying to... Oh, I should use hotkeys. I'm just going to use hotkeys. What's hotkey for this? Three. Okay, I need to back up this guy. Now, this guy's... Oh, no. It's like Twilight all over again. Not Twilight. No, I'm just going to keep healing you best I can. Feed. Okay, so now I'm going to heal him with time. Okay, cool. So, let's see. I, I'm just trying to make my little barrier right here. Oh, somehow somebody got through. Darn. Oh, what the, what's this? This is a star. So, somebody leveled up. Somebody must be a big mega boss. Or they just must be super lucky. I'm not quite sure. Also, I might want to advance like these guys. There we go. You could be healed. You could definitely be healed. Oh, there we go. Mission complete. This time I'm doing a lot better. Somehow I lost the hearts. I wasn't paying attention to what that happened. Maybe it just had something to do with uh, the women dying or something like that. But really, we, di we didn't quite need to protect them in the first place. It's not that big a deal. Anyways, new building, armory, new item, mines, ability, high damage, at 3v3 three area, barbed wire. Okay, so a new building overall. And now the evil pack. So this is probably going to be my last level of this game. It's actually pretty cool. I, I've never realized how many cool games were on NinjaQE.com. Just some of the older ones, really. Now we can build the armory. Cool. I should probably be doing this faster. Um, hurry. Oh, ooh, I have three people. Yay, three people. That's pretty neat. That's nice. Alright, so now I can get you, too. So I'm just going to be spending, like, uh, most of my time on just these basic guys for now. Let's see, I can... And get some things. I'm not gonna quite get them just yet, but I plan. Oh, okay. Escape button does that. How do you get rid of him? Backspace? No, I don't want to do that. Maybe just click up here, somewhere. How? Ah, there we go. I got him off. I got him off. Um, okay, so I have like two bars here. I'm just waiting for like zombies or something to come, so I know exactly where to place these. I don't want to just place them any random spot. Okay. And there we go. So now I got a little reinforced right here. This guy's just working slowly here. So it seems that with every new building, you get uh, an additional... I don't know. Uh, you get uh, an additional worker, I suppose. So yeah, th it seems that this sort of combination works pretty well. I'm just getting it every single time uh, a new zombie comes. I'm actually going to focus you on here right now. I don't care too much about the armor armory, to be completely honest. Oh, shoot. I had that backwards. Okay, I'm hoping this guy can rush here quickly before the zombie gets there. Perfect. Yeah, I had that backwards. I wanted this guy here so it would be perfectly symmetrical, but no! 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 No, the game, or my mind had other ideas. I hate when that happens. When I'm thinking one thing, then I do another. Ah, uh, that sucks when that happens. Oh god, werewolves, werewolves, werewolves. I should probably... Oh shoot. More werewolves. Um use hotkeys a bit more often now oh shoot I missed like entirely like I literally wanted to put him here all right just keep healing perfect somehow you're not dead thank God for that um, let's see what, what else can I do I can get you I can maybe I, I can heal you you are freaking low on health like quit stop being low on health seriously I'm gonna back you up a bit more. I don't even need to do the armory. Like, screw that. I'm too cool for the armory. Actually, I take that back. I'm gonna put two guys on armory now, just so we can all see what the heck it does. Because, I mean, it's like a big mystery, I suppose. Alright, uh, am I gonna be able to get here in time? Run, 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 Usain Bolt. Yeah! Alright, front lines, I'm taking the tanking this pretty well. Oh, there we go. So, what can I get? Uh, complete buildings. Um, okay, so this looks like it could be something. Does it, like, run? Oh, it does. Oh, so it's like some kind of electric... Oh, dang it. He wasn't quick enough. It was like some kind of rigor or whatever. All right, let's uh, heal you. Ooh, what's this? Hockey. 
Oh, increase the attack power of this selected eunuch. Don't mind if I do. I'll okay, wait, is it for a time? Because I, if so, I probably just wasted it. Also, I'm looking at here. This is probably the time le left of this uh, wave. Oh, dang it. It is for a certain amount of time. That sucks. All right, let's see if go in time. Just do it before the zombies get there. Go. Oh, dang it. We don't get to see if do anything because I'm too freaking slow. Dang it. Oh, God. You are low on health, though. Like, holy jeez. Uh, why do I keep doing this? Um, I'm going to get you. I'm going to keep healing you because you are so low on health right now. Oh, so are you. And you as well. Okay, that is a different... That is like some kind of boss unit. Maybe not a boss. It's just something strong. Anyways, they got barbed wire here. So we'll see if that's any good at all. These guys go really slow. So I'm just going to keep focusing on this. Try to get a bunch more uh, stuff in time. Go, 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 go. Oh, whoa. He died real quick. Anyways, the barbed wire is tearing them to shreds. And they're all going to die really soon. And there we go. Got them all. Cool, so this is actually a pretty cool mini game. Or not mini game, just game on Ninja Kiwi. I actually find it quite interesting. New buildings, yeah, barracks. New unit, marine, marine, range long, attack low, HP low. So really, I'm just gonna stop here. There, it seems there's a bunch of, you know, things that can unlock hard 12 levels and a survival mode. So that's pretty cool. It's got some uh, replayability and all that. But if you wanna see more, you're gonna have to play the game yourself. Something to keep you busy in the meantime, I guess, while other Ninja Kiwi games are sacking the deck. So, anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and let me know what you think about this series. Let me know if I should, you know, make a side series of either of these games or or not. If you don't want to see them, or if you just want me to, you know, go with looking for more Ninja Kiwi games. So I could go for more, you know, that are under the surface. These were both on the homepage. So, I mean, that definitely means they're good, but... I will just do some more exploring overall to some games you may not have uh, heard of. So uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.